So guys, the Apple event just finished up a few hours ago. Um, everybody's had a few hours to, you know, figure everything out, go through the new iTunes, uh, take a look at the 3.1 upgrade, um, order your Nano, all that kind of good stuff. But one of the big disappointments was definitely the iPod Touch. Basically, there was no camera. And I know that was a huge deal, but, you know, if you look at it more in depth, it's worse. Um... Okay, so let me just first break down what the uh, what was announced at the keynote today. Okay, so the eight gigabyte model is for one hundred ninety nine dollars, thirty two gigabyte two ninety nine, and sixty four gigabyte three ninety nine. Okay, sounds pretty simple, right? If you just listen to that, you know, great, yeah. Okay, it's really misleading. The eight gigabyte model is the exact same second generation, exact same as this one right here. Okay, now if you look at it, I guess what they're doing is they're carrying over. The 8 gigabyte, they'll continue to make it. But basically, the way it works is straight up in a nutshell. If you want one of the new iPods, which are uh, there are a few things, um, it does obviously have the 3GS internals, which is definitely something you would want. You know, with the, it'll play games faster, it'll load everything faster, um, all that kind of stuff. And not to mention the 32 and 64 gigabytes. But the problem is. If you want one of the new iPods, not the new iPod touches, you guys start by spending three hundred dollars. If you get the eight gigabyte, you're just getting the same old model. There's nothing necessarily nothing wrong with the current iPod touch, but the fact that I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, it's great, but hey, you know, I don't want to buy another one. I mean, it's there's no improvements. Um, so basically, I don't understand this. They on the site they kind of have like updated and stuff like that but there's nothing updated I mean I, I'll, there's nothing updated um, so let me just kind of show you guys run through because there's a lot of different models going on um, they probably start to phase them out but so let me just roll through it okay so if you want a new iPod with the new internals um, the new iPods also come with voice control um, which is debuted in the iPhone 3GS so you know you can control say play Green Day or whatever like that, and they also come with the new headphones, um, like the iPhone where it has the remote and the mic, which is a nice feature. But if you want an older model, you're gonna have to spend, you know, for the eight two hundred dollars. The deal is though, is that assuming that you don't want a new one, which you know a lot of people don't want to spend three or four hundred dollars to get something that's, I mean, not that much improved. So then you've got the choice of getting an older one, and the way Apple works. It's kind of confusing, so let me just kind of go through it, and basically kind of just tell you guys why you should not get the eight gigabyte model. Okay, so along with the eight gigabyte, there are three other models called refurbished. You know, you guys, the refurbished models. Um, basically, the deal with the refurbished models, they've actually taken a dive, and when I say refurbished, they're the second generation model, um, and these are the exact same. This, this, these, this is the exact same generation as the eight gigabyte. Which you would spend uh, 199 on. So let me just roll through the prices here. Um, for a refurbished 8 gigabyte model, it's 149 dollars. Um, now nah, that's a deal. I mean, that's the same. I mean, that's the exact same iPod basically you would have spent yesterday 230 dollars for. Um, now let me just real quickly go through and t kind of tell you what I mean by refurbished. Now these are not like refurbished like a used iPod or whatever. These come in you know the brand new box that come with all new accessories. Um, a lot of these have just been like returns, used maybe a couple times. I mean, they're they're basically the way to go. I mean, there's no reason to spend fifty more dollars for the exact same thing. I mean, yeah, you know, you want something new, but seriously, when you open it up, I mean, I've bought refurbished. And it's 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 a good deal, and the fact that you can, you know, obviously get the iPod Touch. You know, so let me just go through. Um, basically, you save fifty dollars as opposed to getting a new and a used one and like I said there's no difference to the exact same thing which makes no sense to me but you know whatever um, now where it moves up is the 16 gigabyte is now two, not 199 so basically if you want to say spend two hundred dollars on iPod touch you don't want to spend an extra hundred to get a new one you want to get an old one basically you have the choice between a brand new 8 gigabyte or a refurbished 16 gigabyte you know guys refurbished I mean, you know, you want new, but refurbished is definitely a good way to go. So, I mean, you know, you can double the thing. 
And uh, I will say the 32 is now 249. That's not so much of a good deal just because for 50 more dollars, you know, you do get quite a bit for 50. For 100, you know, I just don't understand it. I, I mean, not only did they not put cameras and everything in, they're jacking up the price. So if you want a new iPod Touch, you have to spend $300. Yeah, you can still get $200 for an 8GB, but that's last year's model. Like I said, I mean, this is an 8GB right here, and I love it, but it's an old one. I don't want an old one. If I'm going to spend, go buy one right now, I want a new one. So the fact that Apple just kind of not only didn't add cameras, but jacked the prices way up, then there's no 16GB or nothing. You basically, if you want to buy a 199 model for 8GB, eight, eight you're basically just buying last year's model. And the thing is, they don't, they aren't very clear about that. I mean, during the keynote, it was kind of not really noticed. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. So, uh, I've been, I've researched, I've tried to figure out what they're doing. So, hopefully, guys, this video helps you out. Um, basically, in a nutshell, my advice is stay away from the 199 8GB model. Especially if you have an iPod Touch second generation. There's nothing new, it's the exact same thing. So, you know, just if you want, if you don't have an iPod Touch, I recommend maybe going with the 8 gigabyte refurbished because for 149, that's I mean that's pretty good. I mean yeah, you could get for the same price an 8 gigabyte Nano, but I mean an iPod Touch no it doesn't have a camera, but it's got a lot more. Um, but yeah, guys, <laughs> I'm just rambling here, but definitely wanted to let you guys know that and definitely really be cautious and you know do your research on this before you buy anything. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.